Mm, I lost 10 pounds in three days by doing this. 10 pounds in three days? Yeah, I had to. People really admire my job, but they don't know how competitive it is. Can I use the scene in my video? Um, go ahead. Just don't include my name. Think about the craziest thing that you ever done to lose weight. I guarantee you, what you're gonna see in this video will be way more crazier than that. Please keep it in mind, I did not make this video to encourage you to try any of these. My motivation for making this video was show people how our beauty standards make individuals feel like they are not enough. And as a result, the unconventional methods they choose to lose weight. Now let's see what are those three insane ways are. So some people eat this and they don't crave food for hours and it's not even 50 calories. How come that can be possible? That's because this food is so rich in fiber and there's a really strong link between your fiber intake and how full you feel. So that's why we like to include a lot of fruit and veggies in our meal plans, not just because of their nutrients and their health benefits, but also because they keep you full for a really long time without adding a lot of calories. And this food has a higher percentage of fiber compared to basically any other food. That sounds promising, but how do people abuse it to lose weight? So eating a lot of this can kind of help you skip meals because it can make you feel really full even when your body is actually truly hungry and does need more calories. What should be the right dosage then? So the daily fiber recommendations are 25 grams for women and 38 grams for men. So one tablespoon of this food contains about a third of that recommendation. So most people could take up to a few teaspoons of this to help them meet their daily fiber needs if they aren't meeting that from eating food alone. But just make sure that if you're doing this, you're also taking at least eight ounces of water for every teaspoon of this food. Otherwise, you will make yourself very constipated. What is constipated? It means you're not gonna be able to poo. Oh. But if you take this stuff properly and you take it with enough water, then it's gonna have the opposite effect. So it will make your digestion better. This bowl is my breakfast for last six months. I eat this every single day. But more importantly, it makes me feel so full. I don't really crave any food until afternoon because fiber amount on this tablespoon equals the total fiber amount of quarter cup of oatmeal plus one cup of broccoli plus one carrot plus three slices of bread plus one sweet potato name of this amazing fiber rich powder is phacelium husk you can get from whole food stores pharmacies or order online it's gonna make your life easier if you use it in moderation. Abusing phacelium husk to skip meals is not uncommon among people who want to lose weight. So use it, but don't abuse it. A big old slice of greasy, cheesy pizza. Pizza. I'm a big fan of sweets. I mean, I'm all about chocolate. I love chocolate, I love pretzels, I love caramel. These are answers of Victoria's Secret models when they ask what do they eat after the show. Well, right question should be what do they eat before the show? But maybe that's a question that nobody wants to answer. Thank God I have a model client and she accepted to give us a little bit insight from fashion industry today. Kaya, I literally can't do this job with just a normal body. Like I have to remain really skinny. I really don't like the fact that how fashion industry forces models to have a skinny body because indirectly that situation affects our society and we start believing that being slimmer is always better. Could you please tell me what do you do to stay lean? Yeah, so you are not going to believe this when I say it. And by the way, this is common amongst models, um, unfortunately. So a lot of us will eat tissue in order to suppress our appetite. Um, I've done that way too many times. I also at one point switched it over to cotton balls um, and I learned that in order to actually be able to swallow it and tolerate it, I would dip it in orange juice just to make it bearable. That just sounds too bizarre to be true, but it is. Eating cotton balls to lose weight. That's right. Our Nicole Grigg looked into this latest extreme diet and found out it's something that your kids may already know about. 
Before start judging these models, just wait for a moment and think about it. Being that lean is sustainable only for a short period of time. And you have a job that forces you to stay lean for months. You make your living by your body. What are you gonna do? Of course you're gonna do whatever is necessary to keep your body lean. Of course you end up by eating cotton balls. Or you're gonna choose another insane way to lose weight. Which brings us to the third point. What if I say there is a way to eat whatever you want and not gain any weight? Sounds too good to be true, I know. But there is. Even if it's extremely unhealthy. I was an overweight kid in high school. My father was body shaming me every day for more than three years. To be honest, that just caused me to eat more and more. I remember from Dunkin Donuts to my father's office was around five minute walk. I was getting six donuts every day and trying to finish all of them before arriving his office. Of course, I gained a lot of weight in just one week and my father realized that and started to roast me louder and more frequently. Of course, that didn't stop me to eat more donuts. Instead, I just came up with this brilliant idea. What if I keep eating donuts, feel that amazing taste, then immediately throw up in the toilet? I thought with that way I could get the taste and didn't let my body store those donuts as fat. Once I realized this trick works so well, I started to use more frequently. Over time, I realized that my appetite is getting way smaller and I have been losing weight. That was incredible and I was so happy because finally I earned his appreciation. Unfortunately, it didn't take so long because after a while, doesn't matter how hungry I am, every time I ate something, I felt like I want to throw up. I was around 10 years old that moment and I wouldn't know that vomiting regularly may cause an eating disorder. I have two golden rules to lose weight and keep it off. I come up with these rules after doing many mistakes and constantly observing people and of course myself. First one is not letting anybody to make you feel like you're not enough because your emotions have huge impact on your eating behavior. Second is not trying any insane ways to lose weight because even if you manage to lose weight, you will not keep it off. Even if you keep it off, you will feel psychologically unstable. In this video, I explain how I lose my stubborn fat without doing anything extreme, without even following a diet. Please hit the like button if you really like the video. See you next week.